to ask you about. And a lot of his give him a lot of grief. Um, and I agree that he didn't always make the best decisions at certain levels about how he handled certain things. But I wanted to ask you about Benzino and the Almighty RSO album, um, Doomsday Forever RSO, which I actually have. And um, I first heard about them in 1993 and saw the video. And I know they had ran into some issues, you know, in terms of being having some industry, uh, you know, issues being blackballed. And you all were the ones to put that album out. How did that come to pass with them? <laughs> I think I think Dave Mays played a uh, a part in that. You know, was that co-founded of you know, course with John Shepard. Yeah, because yeah. they both they both was um uh, they was they they was like really on the cool business partners. You know, and people really right. didn't know that Benzino was you know down with the Source magazine at the time. So, and I think uh, it was that record. I think he had a record with uh what is her name? was married to Biggie. Say, Faye Evans, you could be my boo. Faye Evans, you could be she, my boo. Yeah. I, I, was she on the record? I think she was on the record with Yes, him. she was. I have it. I have it. Yes, I have that album. Um, I have it on CD. Now, there's a now there's a bonus. I didn't, I don't have the cassette, but there is a bonus track on the cassette, and this is just random, you know, trivia. This called Don't Know Her Name, but that's not on yeah. the CD, but the, re, but the CD I do have, and that was, that video, because the album came out in 1995, 96, I believe. It came out in 1996, I believe, because that also had a song called The War Zone with Mob Deep. Um... I mean, the album was, you know, I know Benzino doesn't have the best reputation with a lot of people, but the album was dope. And RSO had a lot of, they had spitters on that squad. Yeah, they did. You know, did Rome, it all. you know, yeah. You know, it's Cool it's Jesus, it. Jeff, Two Times, all those guys. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think that, but I think that's how that came into, into fruition. Um, I think the Source magazine had some type of connection with that. I can't be uh one hundred percent one hundred percent on how that how that uh deal came about, but I'm thinking Dave right. Mays played a part in it. Right. But I know so, the record I know the record has something to do with one of the main records. I thought like I said, I think Faith Evans it was yeah, one of yeah, those records we were trying to push, man. Yeah, you. Yeah, that, I remember because y'all because there was even a video for that. Um, yeah, yeah, the you could be my boo. Yeah, they there was a video for that. Yes, I remember that distinctly. Um, and it was a hot track, you know. Um, yeah, yeah, you well, know, yeah. Uh, you know, definitely. Yeah, um, well. You know, but that's definitely a time in terms of the 90s where, you know, and I don't know, man, it's just so different now in terms of the feel because, you know, the the, the, the just the musicality of it, you know, I mean, I'm still thinking back to 1994 when Tulo had his album, you know, uh, Funky Little Brother, man. I mean, you had the, you know, you know, the juveniles, G-Town, you know, Fifth Ward juveniles, G-Town groups. Oh, yeah. I mean, mm-hmm. I, I mean, man, I mean, you know, it, 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 boys. I mean, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you know what?